Throughout most of this series, we've been using the Swagger UI to debug and test our web APIs. But don't get mad at me if I tell you that there's another option as well. We can use the HTTP REPL to explore our web APIs, and we can do it all via the command line. Why don't we take a look and see how it works? The way that we work with the HTTP REPL is by invoking it on the command line. So I'll type in HTTP REPL, but notice that I don't have it installed. So we need to issue this command, .NET tool installed, and the name of the package, which is Microsoft.NET-HTTP REPL. Now that it's installed, I should be able to type HTTP REPL-H, and I should be able to see all of the available options that there are. So notice that I could connect to a particular API, I can issue various HTTP commands, and I even have the option to navigate through an API. So let's clear the screen and see how we can connect it to our web API. Our base URL is localhost 5001. So let's do HTTP REPL, and I'll give it the base address. And now we should be connected to our API. If I wanted to see what endpoints are available, I could use the ls command. And since our recipe's endpoints are prefixed with the slash API, I need to navigate down that path. Let's do slash API. Now let's navigate down one more level and go into that recipe's path. Now inside here, I can just type get, and that will issue a get request against the slash API slash recipes endpoint. Whoa, and there you see it's returned to us a collection of recipes. What if we wanted to just get one recipe? Let's grab the ID from one of these recipes. I'll type an ls. And notice that I have the option to invoke an endpoint with that ID token. So if I type get and pass in that ID, when I hit enter, it should just return that single recipe. The HTTP REPL allows me to navigate through my API just like I'm navigating through folders on my desktop. And this is all powered by that open API specification that we've been talking about throughout the series. Now, let's say you actually wanted to use a UI. I can type UI, enter, and this will actually open a browser tab with the Swagger UI. So you have the option to go between both if you wanted to. Using the REPL allows you to do more than just issue GET requests. You can use put, post, patch, delete, and tons of the other ones. I can set the HTTP headers, and I can even set the body that gets sent over in the request. If you're a person that prefers working in the command line, I think this is a great option for you to check out.